simplifying and expanding in main. We'll tap into main and uh, Classpad generally simplifies a lot of expressions as we type them in. Here we go. Let's type in x plus x plus y. As soon as we tap execute, it's tidied it up for us. The same with products. x multiplied by x. Classpad says that's the same as x squared. If we have other variables other than x, y, and z that are easily found on the keyboard here, we can get up the soft keyboard, head to the var tab, and here they all are. So let's try 2a, uh, maybe plus 3b, uh, subtract 4a, and add 7b. So if we've got an expression like this, as soon as we tap execute, I'm using the execute on the kind of var keyboard here, um, it's done. We've got a simplified expression. We can also use it for index laws. So say we've got a fraction, and upstairs is 2x squared y cubed. So we want 2x squared y to the power of 3. Uh, and downstairs, maybe we've got 3xy all squared. I'll start off with a set of brackets and inside put 3xy, tap to the outside and to the power of 2. Now, as soon as we press execute, classpad simplifies the whole expression. Uh, which is nice for us. Let's try a few expanding things. So we'll clear that out the way. Um, the expand can be found under the action transform expand or interactive transform expand. Now they work in slightly different ways. Let's see how it works. So we'll start off um, with the action menu. Transformation and expand. When we let go, the word expand is put on the screen. We now need to put in the expression we want to expand. I'm going to pop a set of brackets using the uh, bracket tool and inside 2x take 5. So 2x subtract 5. Outside of the brackets we want to square it. We can hit the x squared key. When I tap execute our function has been expanded. So that's one way. Now I'm just going to take a copy and show you the alternative way using the interactive menu. Um, this time we've already typed in the expression. We didn't put the word expand, but we started with the expression. It's kind of in reverse. We're going to select the expression, head off to the interactive transformation expand. So the structure of finding it's the same. However, a wizard now um, kind of intercepts our command and says exactly how did you want to expand this using an expression or partial fractions. Now we're just going to go with expressions so we say OK and we get the same result but it's using the other menu and basically the interactive will always give you a wizard which will ask you for any um, kind of questions or answers that it needs to know to actually carry out the operation. There's another way. We can simply type in the expression, press execute, and on the next line, I'm going to use action transform expand, put the command, and tap execute. That's a fairly fast way of working because it minimizes the amount of time we have to spend working through the menus. Right, um, sometimes simplify will actually do the work of expanding for us. Let's have a look if we tidy things up here. Um, if I've got x plus y squared, so here we go, inside x plus y to the power of 2, and I subtract from this x minus y, so again a set of brackets, x minus y inside and outside to the power of 2. When I tap execute, we get x squared, x plus y squared minus x minus y squared. If I use the action transform expand command here uh, you can see it's simplified to 4xy. I could have got the same result by using the simplify command. Uh, I'm going to tap execute and put simplify on the next line. So here we go action transform simplify and tap execute. Now there's an even easier way of doing this. If I again had typed in our expression so I've just put a copy on a new line, press execute. If you think Classpad could simplify the last result, just tap this button up here underneath interactive simp. And again, it just takes the answer, 
and simplifies it for you. So that's a fairly quick way of um, doing things. Often uh, you think ClassPad might be able to do a better job than it has done at simplifying things. And that's um, when I recommend using the Simp button. Let's just have a look at a small example. So I'll clear everything out the way. Suppose we've got something like um, 2x squared minus 3. So here we are, 2x squared minus 3. And we've substituted uh, for x and said that x is actually equal to y take 4. Now, when I press execute now, you can see it hasn't actually expanded and simplified. If I tap simplify, then it has. It's expanded and simplified. So often the work of expand can be done simply by using the simplify button up here. And our job's done.